You know, we all have our Christmas stories that bring us happiness as we think about them years later. Well, I had such a story in my own family this year. I've told you the story about our oven. Our oven was a GE profile, a really good convection wall oven, but all of a sudden it stopped working. Well, I'm a handyman, so I went out to the garage and I got my rubber mallet, and I started to bang on the front of the oven. It was important because my granddaughter had all of her friends spending the night, and they wanted me to make them pizza. The oven sprang to life, but only in a limited way. It would only cook to 350 degrees, not 349, not 351. So I went to the grocery store, H-E-B in Texas, and I spent about an hour and a half walking up and down the frozen pizza aisle looking for a pizza that cooks at 350. I tell you, and I'm an expert on this, there is just one pizza made that does that today. Well, I got that pizza, made them incredible pizza that night. Well, we bought a new oven for Christmas so that we could cook pizza all the time or anything else. And I put an ad on Craigslist to give away this oven to someone that might know how to repair it to change the module that I was told needed to be changed in the electronic panel. All of a sudden, I get a call from the Crichton Theater in Conroe, Texas, where we reside. And they wanted me to donate my oven to their Christmas play so that they could uh, uh, use it on stage. I thought, this is a fitting thing. My oven is going out in literally a flame of glory, becoming a star. And so we donated the oven, and it was a comedy Christmas play called Christmas Bells. And during one part of it, the prisoner is chained to our oven. I was like a proud parent. I went to that show. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I went there all dressed up with my family to see my oven in the starring role. Life is, is so good. It just constantly brings a serendipity of positive surprise. And that will be a memory that we will remember forever. Seeing that prisoner on stage chained to our oven and the comedy lines around it. I pray that you have many wonderful Christmas experiences and memories. And perhaps this is something you can do this Christmas with your family around the table. Start to share stories of Christmas past, humorous things that happened. And you'll find that it is one of the greatest gifts that you give during the day. God bless you, my friend. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas.